Hello everyone, my name is Eric Creel and welcome to the Creel Studios. So I have important news to talk to me. So yeah. See, I got already got cleaned up with my new storage. Yeah. And also, there's the first drawer, which is Legos. And so does, yep, Legos on top of the doors as well. And so, that's a really important to me. So, and welcome back for another Christmas month of December. I here today to do my redo movie review on Rise of the Guardians. Came out in 2012. For the plot, we have Jack Frost, who wants to found out to float in the sky during the winter time, and then suddenly, when North Claus, who want to found out what just happened to saw Jack Frost, including to Fairy. Easter Bunny, Mr. Sandman, and the Boogeyman. And then suddenly happens is when Jack Frost comes to meet with North Claus. And then suddenly happens is they like to find out what just happened. And then which suddenly happens is Pitch Black comes to the world's greatest nightmare fuel. And then suddenly happens is it's up to the Guardians while defeating Pitch Black, and that's basically the plot for the entire movie. So what have I heard about Rise of the Guardians? Since I remember, saw this movie in 3D, I should say, with my family during December 1st, 2012, which is a 10 years timeline. And then, since I give it a rewatch on Blu-ray player with the PlayStation 4 Pro back in for its last two years ago since I already did my review leading up to The Crude's New Age. And then I give it a rewatch ever since last six days ago and I gotta say so since my original movie review have aged milk and seem old better days since this is an honor to Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. So, what do I think of it? It's amazing. And it's now officially my favorite DreamWorks animated movie of 2012. And not just that, my favorite animated movie of 2012. In my taste. The story is absolutely really awesome. It has made sense. Which is during this Christmas or in Easter. The animation is awesome, which is easily the best looking animation I've ever seen in a 2012 animated movie, just like Brave did. And the characters, we have Jack Frost. He's amazing, which is easily the best Jack Frost in movies I've ever seen in my life. Yep, that many people will agree with me. Since I really like how the nice crossover ships like I Do Ship, Jack Frost, and Elsa all combined. It looks really amazing. Just like my Disney crossover ship, like King from the Owl House and Brandy from Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. That sounds really awesome. And then we have North Claus. He is amazing, which is performed by no other than Alec Baldwin. The exact same actor who performed the boss baby himself from his duology. And this and Tim Allen as Scott Calvin from the Santa Claus trilogy. And so does the Disney Plus original series, The Santa Clauses, are one of my favorite Santa Claus in movies so far. So, including... To Fairy. She looks really amazing at the best. And including the Easter Bunny. He's really awesome, which is performed by no other than 
Hugh Jackman, which is the exact same actor who performed as Logan from the X-Men movies, Lionel Frost from Missing Link, and of course, Roderick St. James from Flush Away. And including Mr. Sandman. He's amazing. And including the Boogeymen. They're awesome. And including the villain, Pitch Black. He looks really intense. So, all kinds of characters look really awesome. And the music scores look really amazing. And I forgot to mention about the final part of the characters. We have Santa's Elves. They're awesome. So, I have no complaining about this film. Overall, Rise of the Guardians is by doubt my favorite animated movie of 2012 and as well as my favorite DreamWorks animated movies I've ever seen in my life alongside with my favorite DreamWorks animated movie which is The Bad Guys, Trolls World Tour, The Croods of New Age, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, The Boss Baby Family Fit, I mean Family Business, and last but certainly not least, Abominable. I gave Rise of the Guardians a 10 out of 10. It is an amazing, brilliant masterpiece. And it definitely gets the seal of epic masterpiece. So, tell me, what do you think of Rise of the Guardians? So, let me know in the comments. And stay tuned for tomorrow is my review on Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Ah, yes! I'm excited to watch Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio on Netflix. It is going to be a way much better than Robert Zemeckis' Pinocchio live-action remake on Disney+. Plus. So thank goodness I don't have to worry to watch Robert Zemeckis' Pinocchio live-action remake on Disney+. Plus. And thank goodness I watch Cars on the Road and Frozen 2 sing-along version on the Disney Plus day instead of Robert Zemeckis. I mean, Robert Zemeckis' Pinocchio live-action remake. I'm so happy that I watch something else instead of Robert Zemeckis' Pinocchio live-action remake on Disney+. Plus. I'm glad it will. So, and that's enough talking. If you want to see more videos to my channel, click subscribe, click the bell button if you want to see more messages, notifications, whatever you want. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace!